Chapter 536 Lu Xu's Withdrawal from His Plan A group of villagers wanted to get the support of Shi Fei. They did not quite understand the rest, but since Shi Fei was in charge of Luo City under the Heavenly Network, then Shi Fei should be of higher position than Lu Xu. But within the Heavenly Network, they were not so particular about regulations like salutations, unlike the collection of gods who were strict about rank. But everyone clearly knew the necessary senior and junior system. Hence, the first thing Shi Fei did when he arrived was to salute Lu Xu and exchange greetings. The two of them acted as if no one else was present. Although the villagers did not hear the positions they called each other, but it was evident that Shi Fei and his colleagues were very polite towards Lu Xu. They were not stupid. They knew that Lu Xu was of higher position than Shi Fei. Upon seeing this, Lu Pingxing planned to make a run for it. In the end, he did not even get the chance to turn before Lu Xu laughed coldly at him. What's wrong? Did you think you could steal my Chinese chives just because you assumed I was dead? I'm not done here. Shi Fei seemed as if he was not listening at all. This was someone Zhong Yutong did not want to provoke. They were the ones who created trouble for themselves. They also felt that it was good to have someone like Lu Xu to deliberately embarrass them. When they encountered such situations, they typically submitted to humiliation. They could not hit or scold people, even if they wanted to. If their way of handling the matter was even slightly inappropriate, they could be scolded by Zhong Yutong. Zhong Yutong was also not someone who confused right and wrong. He knew that there was generally no problem when Shi Fei and his colleagues settled matters, but he had no choice in this position. Shi Fei and his colleagues could also understand. Zhang Yutong handled affairs in Yuzhou. There were times that he had no choice but to handle problems in an extremely official way. It was no big deal if Zhang Yutong occasionally scolded them. But Lu Xu was even more impressive. Zhang Yutong did not dare to scold him, more accurately. Zhang Yutong felt that it was good enough for Lu Xu to stop calling him actively. He would not call Lu Xu for no reason. When Lu Pengsheng heard how Lu Xu dared to say such a thing in public, he was slightly humbled. Lu Xu had also underestimated the villagers' rudeness. In the beginning when the Lu village and the Wang village were fighting over water sources, the local police did not pay attention to a mob fight involving over 300 people. Even firing a warning shot did nothing to stop them. But Lu Pingxing swayed from side to side. He knew that Lu Xu was probably not someone who followed the rules. Thus he thought long and hard about how he could continue to protect the strawberries left in his house. Shi Fei laughed at Lu Xu. It's good that nothing had happened to you. Later when you report to the security team, I'll treat you to a welcome dinner. Okay. Lu Xu happily agreed. Before they left, he gave each of them a basket of strawberries. These were grown at my home. Everyone, take some and give your brothers a try. The surrounding villagers' hearts were practically breeding. All your home had were Chinese chives. Do you know what you're talking about? From Lu Pengxing's distress, plus 666. From now, at the Luhai Lane, in the capital, Nia Ting sat on top of a rock in the courtyard, flipping through the document in his hands. The information reported in this document was all related to Lu Xu's near future. Shi Xue Jin held a bowl of millet gruel in his hands and stood beside Nia Ting. He laughed. The deities say that they want to form an alliance. They have been asking every day when the person in charge of overseas relations would come to have a talk. If we don't send anyone there, they will come over to discuss the alliance with us themselves. Nia Ting rubbed his temple and said, after Lu Xu went back, he did not call Zhang Yutong even once. It seems like he has given up on his hope of entering the cultivation college. Now he is starting to cultivate land in peace. Cultivate land? Shi Xue Jin laughed. I'd like to go back to my hometown and do the same if I didn't have so many things on my hands. But is he able to cultivate crops with that practical attitude of his? The seal of lands is in his hands. 
it's up to him whether he wants to plant anything. He can even grow gold if he wanted to, I'm not exaggerating. Nia Ting's face was gloomy. He said, last night, the spirit chi produced at Lu Li's Daoyuan class became weird. Even the plants nearby have produced oddities that collapsed the villa. The exact same thing happened in Jiang Shui's training residence. Lu Xu was definitely the one who did it. I'm guessing that Lu Xu helped Lu Li improve the practice environment. There is no doubt that the seal of lands is in his hands. Indeed, the security team brings in no profit. Anyway, they do not care about these kinds of matters. They only help to vanquish demons and monsters. But if you're thinking of helping him get more profit through more overseas projects, I'm afraid that it will break the bank, Sher Shuajin said, taking pleasure in the misfortune. Recently, the situation overseas has become more and more unstable. The puppet master's shadow is everywhere. The blood devil also seems to be rapidly regaining its strength. Nia Ting furrowed his eyebrows. The heavenly network desperately needs someone in charge of overseas relations. I want to see how long he will be able to keep it up for. Don't be so determined to win. Sure Xue Jin finished the millet gruel in one gulp. I don't dare to speak for others, but when it comes to Lu Xu, I feel that things will only go more and more out of plan. Nia Ting suddenly raised his eyebrows with a peaceful expression. He also felt that he was gradually losing control. Nothing that Lu Xu had done in the past two days were normal. He could not help but ponder whether it was appropriate for Lu Xu to be in the security team. That night, Lu Xu once again brought Lu Xiaoyu and Little Fury out to take action. Before they had left, Lu Xu even praised Little Fury for its good work as the family Little Fury had provoked provided the greatest amount of distress points. He could not go so far as to kill these people. But Lu Xu felt that since he had already planned to build an alternate base here, then he would let them understand the price they would have to pay for their mischief. Lu Xu may not be skilled in other areas, but in this aspect he was like an ancestor. Lu Xu strutted forward. Tonight the villagers had learned their lesson. They simply lived in their fields and looked after the strawberries. But as Little Fury passed by, the villagers, who had been protecting their greenhouses and were ready to catch the thief, lay down and fell asleep one by one. In this day and age, how could an ordinary person resist the ability of a practitioner? Lu Xu's first stop was Lu Pengxing's greenhouse. When they approached the greenhouse, they were dumbfounded by the sign that had just been erected. The words on the sign were slanted. In this greenhouse, there is one poisoned strawberry. Ha! <laughs> ha! Lu Xu was angry, but he could not stop himself from laughing. He would not take strawberries from this family. He added a line of words under the sign. Now there are two. The next day, when Lu Pingsheng woke up and saw the words on the sign, he almost fainted with a belch. This thief really had no morals. He had never seen a thief with such an easy conscience. From Lu Pengxing's Distress, Plus 999 Chapter 537, Ghosts The truth will come out once Lu Xu had put his hand to it. Ever since the strawberry incident, many of the villagers decided to bow their heads and make way whenever they saw Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu. There was a saying that the kind will be bullied by others. But Lu Xu had never thought of himself as a kind person. Becoming the village tyrant did not sound good to the ears, since this sort of title was associated with bullying others and unlawfully seizing good-looking widows. But Lu Xu did not mind. In the end, what he needed was simply to prevent people from stealing his Chinese chives. After breakfast, Lu Xiaoyu carried her bag and prepared to go to school. Before she left, she suddenly asked, Lu Xu, are you not going to school? Lu Xu was speechless. Times have really changed. In the past, he was the one who urged Xiaoyu to go to school. Now, it was the other way round. I. I still have other proper business to do. Lu Xu waved. Hurry up and go to school. He now felt a sense of rejection for school. 
Why? It was not because he was now in the same class as Lu Xiaoyu. He had not mentally prepared himself for this. In the past, he had overlooked this problem. He had thought that it was good enough for Lu Xiaoyu to be willing to study and go to school. In the end, he was in the same class as his younger sister, who was six years younger than him. Was this awkward or awkward? His younger sister was eleven years old. She was in her third year of high school and had successfully entered the cultivation college. What about Lu Xu? He was seventeen years old and in his third year of high school. He had to repeat one year if he wanted to enter the cultivation college. Lu Xu could not bear this humiliation. According to Zhang Yutong, the cultivation college had taken in more students than usual. Over 300 people, made up of the entire Luo City Daoyuan class and members of the Heavenly Network, had been assigned to the security formation. This meant that the passing rate was about 70%. Lu Xu came to the Beimang Mountain Base in the early morning. In reality, the address of the Luo City Cultivation College and the Heavenly Network Luo City Headquarters were the same. This also meant that in the future when Lu Xu came here for work, his classmates would be here for school. Thinking about this made Lu Xu filled with anger. Before he came to the Beimang base, he had called Shi Fei. When he approached the door, he saw Shi Fei and twenty other people quietly standing by the door. They clapped and jokingly said, Welcome the national hero, Lu Xu, to honor us with your presence and offer guidance in our work. But their warmth was not fake. Not many people knew that Lu Xu had killed Takashima, and the fact was classified information. But even if he had not killed Takashima, the fact that Lu Xu had killed Nojoa Takenobu at the Kochang Island ruins made the members of the Heavenly Network shocked beyond description. Hence they had all come out to welcome him. At the same time, they wanted to see how the young man, who had killed a Class B expert, looked like. Many people had never seen Lu Xu. After all, transfer orders were frequent after the previous admission test. Many members of the Heavenly Network had only recently been assigned to jobs in Luo City. Thus, for some people, their image of Lu Xu in their head was of a robust, strong and powerful person, like Li Xiao. In the end, when they saw him today, they were shocked. He was so delicate and pretty. He did not seem like an expert at all. There seemed to be no difference between him and an ordinary sophomore. Lu Xu was speechless. Was everyone so lethargic in the morning? He cleared his throat. Since everyone is so welcoming, I will talk about three points. Each point has ten subpoints. From Shi Fei's distress, plus 666. From. Wait, wait. You don't have to speak, Shi Fei quickly held back Lu Xu. He knew that Lu Xu liked to drag things out. If no one stopped him, he could make you feel sick from morning to night. Lu Xu pulled Shi Fei to one side. Hurry up and settle the procedures for me. I heard that I don't have to attend lessons and just have to stay in the base. Is this true? Shi Fei shook his head. You don't have to be at the base. If anything happens, we will immediately alert all the members of the security formation to go to the scene of the incident. Oh, Lu Xu was slightly sad that he still had to attend lessons. To speak the truth, Shi Fei also did not want Lu Xu to be at the base. If not, there would be a lot of pressure for them to be in the same place as a tycoon, who was practically a class B. All the members of the Daoyuan class have to undergo training from next week onwards, said Shi Fei. Since all the official members of the Heavenly Network have undergone the recruit training, it is not to inculcate new occupational skills. This process is still very important. The training will last for approximately three months. I'm not going. Lu Xu rejected even before Shi Fei could finish his sentence. I've completed my training. At that time, when all the geniuses with top aptitude had undergone the training, he was in the training as well. This had no relation with whether he wanted to bear hardships. All the hardships that was to bear had been borne by him. 
Furthermore, he had other more important things to attend to. Shi Fei was slightly annoyed. Talking to this tycoon in private was simply depressing. If Lu Xu said that he would not go, what could he say? Even Zhong Yutong would not be willing to get Lu Xu to be involved. They would have to ask Heavenly King Nia to personally talk to Lu Xu. But Shi Fei did not expect that Heavenly King Nia was now also hiding from Lu Xu. The current situation was very meaningful. Everyone had their own disputes. Lu Xu inexplicably became a candidate who ran his own course and came within no one's jurisdiction. Lu Xu slowly headed back, trying to waste more time. In the afternoon, he finally decided to go for lessons. Just like what he had told Lu Xiaoyu, studying was not for the sake of others, nor was it for the sake of a diploma. It was to nurture one's habits of thinking. There were times when the difference between the thinking patterns of those who had attended formal education and those who had not was drastic. Lu Xu was different from when he had returned to school and blown out someone's basketball the previous time. This time, Lu Xu was unusually low-key. He was afraid that others would discover him. He quietly entered the school campus. Every sight in school made him feel a wave of nostalgia. The times he had spent at the Japanese high school earlier were very meaningful too. The significance and memories of those student days seemed to be the sounds of laughter everyone had in the fragment of time they had wasted. Lu Xu Loki completed the process to report back after a leave of absence with Shi Ching Yuan. As he walked out of the staff room, all the teachers in the staff room were dumbfounded. The one that just reported back after his absence, isn't he the national hero, Lu Xiaoshu? Didn't he sacrifice himself? The teacher who had once invigilated Lu Xiaoyu's Chinese subject asked in astonishment. She had even apologized to Lu Xiaoyu after the incident. Shi Ching Yuan's expression was complex. It is indeed him. Seems like he did not die. This was a pain in the ass for all the teachers in the Daoyuan class. The students under their wing were bizarre and motley. If the students starting spouting fire during a fight, would you not be scared? If students who had advanced to class C started shakily playing with flying swords during lessons, would you not be scared? Lu Xu was even more incredibly unreal. According to the official announcement, he was dead. But now he had revived and was alive. What, are you a ghost now? Chapter 538, Abyss Fruit After walking out of the staff room, Lu Xu stealthily approached the classroom. Seeing the students in the classroom engaging in their own activities during their required courses, Lu Xu stood outside and peered through the window. He secretly looked inside, wanting to see where Lu Xiaoyu sat. Before he had even found Lu Xiaoyu, she had appeared behind him. She did not care whether Lu Xu was trying to be low-key. She shouted, Lu Xu, you're finally here for lessons. The students in the classroom, many who did not know the details of the incident, were immediately shocked. Lu Xu? Which Lu Xu? Everyone's eyes fell on Lu Xu's face. Lu Xu awkwardly but politely laughed. Long time no see, everyone. From Li Yuqing's distress, plus 666. From Yi Lingling's distress, plus 666. From. Lu Xu sighed with emotion. His classmates were still so nice. They were so polite when they greeted him. Lu Xu had not even thought of what to say before Lu Xiaoyu turned her head to face the entire class. She coldly said, how could I just ignore what happened before? From now on, whoever badmouths Lu Xu behind his back. Lu Xiaoyu even lowered her head and took out a small card from her pocket, which reminded her of what to say. Right. I, Lu Xiaoyu, will not let it pass. From Li Yuqing's distress, plus 666. From Yi Lingling's distress, plus 666. From Lu Xiaoyu had waited all day for this. After letting it out of her chest, she felt that she had a commanding presence. She had fulfilled her long-cherished wish. As expected, there was some use to studying. 
Lu Xu was dumbfounded. Lu Xiaoyu, did you awaken some amazing attribute? What have you been doing all this time in class since you skipped grades? He looked around at the students surrounding him. He realized that the expression on their faces was somewhat odd. However, the distress points that the collection of gods had provided him earlier were too closely compacted. Thus, he did not realize whether there were distress points coming from his classmates. Lu Xiaoyu pulled Lu Xu to sit beside her. A fat boy simply carried his bag and went to the back row. This feeling was as if he had been covered by the school tyrant. For some reason, Lu Xu suddenly did not want to go to school even more than before. But he suddenly thought of something. Didn't Xiaoyu have to go for the training next week too? Although he hated to see Lu Xiaoyu suffer, but he suddenly rejoiced slightly. At least his school life would be a bit more normal. However, at this moment, Lu Xu suddenly felt as if he was looking at his own background. There was an additional page in the original content page. The name on the additional page was Lu Xiaoyu. Inside was a record of distress points he had obtained through Lu Xiaoyu. There was even a total number at the bottom of the page. 4021 Distress Points Lu Xu was somewhat uncertain. Why were there two record pages? It felt as if he had only used the distress points Lu Xiaoyu had earned. The points seemed to be calculated twice and both pages saw an increase at the same time. Lu Xu sensed that something was not right. He opened up the market to take a look. There was another product after the celestial fruit, abyss fruit. Both the celestial fruit and the abyss fruit cost 1,000 points each. Lu Xu bought one fruit and realized that his distress points did not decrease. Instead, the distress points from the additional page had decreased by 1,000. Hiss. Lu Xu gasped in astonishment. This meant that it could only be bought by the distress points generated by Lu Xiaoyu. Then, the abyss fruit was also for Lu Xiaoyu? Earlier, Lu Xu had wanted to give the celestial fruit to Lu Xiaoyu for her to eat, but he could not do so. Instead, the distress points she had generated made him seem as if he had been expelled from the party and discharged from public office. The distress points increased steadily. Now, he was able to collect the distress points produced by Lu Xiaoyu. At the same time, she could exchange them for fruits that could increase her strength. This gave Lu Xiaoyu the independence to regenerate ways to increase her strength. Whether it was as he had predicted would have to wait until they went back and tried it out at night. Lu Xu suddenly saw Lu Li enter the class. He thought about how last night, he had increased the spirit qi in Lu Li's training residence. He seemed to resolutely and mysteriously hint to Lu Li what's up. Have good things happened to you recently? Lu Li immediately felt uncomfortable all over. Was Lu Xu here to gloat over his misfortune? How did he know what had happened? His expression darkened. He asked, was it you who did it? When Lu Xu heard Lu Li's question, he certainly could not admit the truth with his spirit of serving the people wholeheartedly and not leaving his name behind. After a good deed. Ha! 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 How could it be me? It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Lu Xu returned to his seat after he had finished speaking. Lu Li stood at the classroom door, holding back his words. He was certain that his villa had been destroyed by Lu Xu, although he did not know how Lu Xu did it. From Lu Li's distress, plus 999. Seeing the flow of distress points, Lu Xu thought. Was it so difficult to be a nice person nowadays? Did you think it was easy to take care of a hero's family members? He also did not know when he could change Lu Li's impression of him. Hmm. Where's Jiang Shui? Lu Xu patted the classmate in front of him and asked. The classmate in front of him gingerly turned around. Ever since the practitioner's admission test, Jiang Shui has not come to school. Oh. Jiang Shui had received a military medal for going to Qinghai. So Jiang Shui not coming to school did not come as a surprise to Lu Xu. 
Counting back in time, Jiang Shui had probably advanced to Class C. Besides, Chao Qingxi's speed of training was probably much faster. When they had went for training, they were already Class Cs. Now, they had probably embarked on the path to consolidate their Class C status. Shi Fei's speed of training seemed slow in comparison. But thinking about it, out of the entire population of over 1 billion people, there were only 82 of such class aptitude geniuses like Chao Qingxi. It was normal for their speed of training to be much faster than that of others. But after advancing to Class C, it was not easy to ascend to Class B, according to the old priest Chen Bailey. One's aptitude and meridian one determined the speed of training, while class determined the degree. This was the reason why the old priest had regarded Lu Xiaoyu as important. Since her awakening was early and her class was high, the level she would be able to reach in the future was also high. Take for example people like Chao Qingxi, Cheng Chiuqiao etc. who had class aptitude. If they only had aptitude but not class, they would most likely stay at class B for the rest of their lives. According to the old priest, some class aptitude geniuses would rise in class after suffering heavy defeats. Their greatest advantage was simply their ability to reach the peak earlier than others. Of course, class A aptitude geniuses typically had high class, with only a few exceptions. But there would be a few students with poor aptitude and very good class. They welcomed their own light after enduring tough training. Perhaps the peak that others found hard to break through was a piece of cake to them. Chapter 539, That's Unfair It was said that every advancement above Class B was like going through hell. Not literally, though, but in terms of difficulty level. To people like Mia Ting, Class C was nothing more than just the foundation. However, Lu Xu's top concern at the moment was not advancement, but how to sell his 90,000 plus magical stones. It was a great joy when he took them back then, but he was now having a headache over how to exchange them into cash. Lu Xu thought about the Luo City black market, but it might not have the capacity for such a high input volume. Besides, it would surely alert the heavenly network with so many magical stones traded in one go. Lu Xu seemed to be left with no other alternatives but to cause more trouble now. In the evening, the bell rang, marking the end of school. Lu Xiaoyu waved her little hand and called over to Lu Xu, Let's go, Lu Xu. Follow your senpai and go home. Lu Xu's face darkened under their classmates' startled stares. Having sensed Lu Xu's embarrassment, Lu Xiaoyu shot him a concerned look, wondering whether she had gone too far. Silence. Lu Xiaoyu did not utter a word for a long moment and stretched the edge of her clothes in distress. Lu Xu could not help but smile seeing her like that. It suddenly brought him back to one month ago, when Lu Xiaoyu saved him from his most lonely moments. Back then, she traveled northward despite the snowy winds, pushed open the heavy door of the internet cafe, and appeared right in front of him when he needed her the most. So, what was there to be upset about? Lu Xu held her hand and asked, What do you want for dinner? Lu Xiaoyu chuckled and her face brightened. Fried tomatoes with eggs. Thus, under their classmates' stares, Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu walked out of the classroom. Clouds were floating in the sky, and two shadows were cast on the side of the corridor under the warm sunset glow of winter. In the past, they all knew that Lu Xu had a younger sister. In order to take care of her, Lu Xu had to make a living by selling boiled eggs every day. Thus, his classmates were all curious about what his sister was like. However, when she had finally been transferred to their class, they shared the same feeling. They should not have met her. Lu Xiaoyu was pretty and smart. She immediately sparked a thought in the hearts of many people, the government owed them a younger sister. But after a day spent together, they realized she was more like a demon than a sister. One day, Yi Lingling suffered from a poor appetite all night due to Lu Xiaoyu's one-sentence comment. Yet, Lu Xu appeared just when Lu Xiaoyu was believed to be a wild, misbehaving girl. They dared to swear that Lu Xiaoyu had never been so sweet while Lu Xu was away. On their way home, Lu Xiaoyu asked carefully, Lu Xu, are you mad? 
Lu Xu gave her a resigned smile. There's nothing to be mad with you about. But please don't be so dramatic next time. Sure. Lu Xiaoyu nodded her head firmly. Her white down jacket was pure and snow white. Other students looked at their figures in silence. For some reason, it felt that there were only two types of people in the world. One was Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu, and the other was the rest of them. Their height difference was apparent, but it seemed just right, as though it was supposed to be like this since the start of the time. At night, in the number 4 courtyard apartment, Xingxu Road. Lu Xiaoyu warned coldly, her brows locked together, Lu Xu, you'd better not lure me into eating strange stuff. Having tried convincing Lu Xiaoyu for half an hour, Lu Xu's mouth had gone dry. This is the abyss fruit, good for your cultivation. Humph. Lu Xiaoyu summoned Anthony, who was always giggling. She pointed at Anthony with one hand and placed the other on her hip. The last time you took out that thing, my Anthony was still fine. But take a look at him now. Lu Xiaoyu grew more and more angry as she spoke. She glared at Anthony. Stop laughing. But to no avail. From Lu Xiaoyu's distress, plus 999. That was an accident, Lu Xu could not find a valid excuse either. But this is really not the sole pearl I used last time. It's the same as my celestial fruit. Trust me. Lu Xiaoyu's reaction towards the abyss fruit was one that Lu Xu had never expected. As of now, Lu Xiaoyu had contributed more than 5,000 distress points to him, but what if she still refused to yield? Accident? You did it intentionally. Say it, do you want to see me giggle? Lu Xiaoyu asked, expressionless. If you don't believe me, I'll eat one first. And you will eat if I don't giggle. How about that? Lu Xu was frustrated. His abyss fruits were not poisonous. Okay. Lu Xiaoyu sneered, crossing her arms. Lu Xu daringly tried it out. It should be fine to eat an abyss fruit, since nothing happened to Lu Xiaoyu after she ate a celestial fruit. He swallowed the abyss fruit. Indeed, similar to celestial fruits, the abyss fruit transformed into energy immediately after it entered Lu Xu's mouth. Then, it rolled into Lu Xu's celestial map. In the next instant, however, both Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu were stunned. At that moment, he could sense distinctly that instead of absorption by the celestial map, a stream of dark energy permeated all the stars directly and flowed into the unknown space. Shocked, Lu Xiaoyu looked at herself before looking at Lu Xu again. Lu Xu, why is the power in my celestial map growing when you eat the abyss fruit? No idea. What the heck? Lu Xu was utterly confused. By right, Nothing should have happened, just like when Lu Xiaoyu ate celestial fruits. Lu Xu was once worried that it might be too slow if Lu Xiaoyu solely relied on natural means to build up her power. Thus, it would be nice that she could improve through other alternatives without taking up his own stock of distress points. But Lu Xu felt something was not right. Then there's no need for me to eat it. Lu Xiaoyu waved her hand and went to watch Naruto. You can eat it for me. Lu Xu's expression darkened at once. You. Come back. Lu Xiaoyu. Do you hear me? Come back to eat your fruits. But Lu Xiaoyu ignored him completely. In any case, she could still gain power when Lu Xu ate the fruit, so why should she eat it herself? She knew celestial fruits were bland and not tasty at all. Lu Xu redeemed the remaining three abyss fruits. He simmered in anger as he ate the them all. Why had he lost control over his inferior celestial map? What's wrong with feeding Anthony with the soul pearl to boost his power? Why should he be blamed for that? That's simply unfair. Lu Xu, look. I think Naruto has a point in turning water into mist to block his enemy's vision and use it for detection. It's a suitable strategy for you, Lu Xiaoyu called to Lu Xu, curling up on the sofa. 
Reluctantly, Lu Xu replied after stuffing the last abyss fruit into his mouth, coming. Chapter 540, Lu Xu's Distress Points The training preparation for Daoyuan class students had been going on for a long time. By then, the camp would be a gathering place for all students who had passed the admission test of Luoshan College. It was similar to the military camps newly enrolled university students participated in, albeit a tougher version. There was nothing special about their training regimes, which included basic things like military posture training. Some opined that they were meaningless, but Nye Ting disagreed, as did the many veterans of the Heavenly Network. They were elites of the troops, which taught them the utmost importance of discipline. The first half of the training camp aimed to internalize the idea that they were no longer ordinary students. Instead, they had to shoulder responsibilities in the future. As for the latter half, it focused more on basic training on military strategies, an easier version of what had been given to class aptitude geniuses like Lu Xu back then. I'm not going. Lu Xiaoyu pursed her lips. Why must I go if you are not even going? From my point of view, the training I had last time has been of great help for me, Lu Xu said seriously and genuinely. Explosive force is not the only thing that matters during combat, stamina and willpower are crucial too. More often than not, the diversity of trump cards is not what determines your chances of winning in a fight. Rather, the winner is the one who is able to fight till his last breath. Lu Xu was reminded of the fight with Takashima. Had he not put in his best effort in scraping his Qi Mountain even when he was dying, probably he, together with Coral, would have been dead on the spot. Nay. Go away. Lu Xiaoyu did not even look up from her phone which was streaming Naruto. Lu Xu was speechless. From Lu Xu's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu hissed, frowning, are you? Wait a moment. Something was not right. There must have been something wrong. But what was wrong? When Lu Xu checked Lu Xiaoyu's income record, he was petrified. WTH? Lu Xiaoyu could collect his distress points now. He looked at Xiaoyu, but was relieved that she did not seem to have noticed anything. Lu Xu checked his own record, but there was no such entry. This meant that only Lu Xiaoyu could access distress points from him. What kind of bloody system was that? To collect the host's distress points. Other things aside, there were enough points to redeem another abyss fruit. Hence, Lu Xu made the redemption and ate it quietly. Since he had not discovered any other functions of points gained under Lu Xiaoyu's name, why not exchange for abyss fruits and eat as many as he could? Honestly speaking, though, it felt damn weird eating his own distress points. As for the task of persuading Lu Xiaoyu to join the training, Lu Xu had yet to figure out a method. Speaking of which, he had noticed his schoolmates' strange stares at him at the end of school that day. It was widely known that Lu Xu was a major and also a class C, which was rather admirable. Many girls in the school had even become his fans, and there were praises regarding his handsome looks wherever he went. That was almost insane. A 17-year-old major? That sounded simply awesome. Back then, many girls had wanted to write love letters to Lu Xu, who then left with Li Xiao to the Cocheng Island before the girls could have a chance. After he returned to school, he was arranged into the security formation while other students were qualified for Luoshan College. Obviously, that signaled the end of Lu Xu's career path. What was security formation? It was a euphemism for the police force. They had lower social status than students graduated from cultivation colleges, which only admitted high scorers. In simpler words, the admission test separated the winners from the losers. This gave them an illusion that Lu Xu's current achievements were well within their reach in the near future, because cultivation colleges were believed to be the platform where they could climb to the pinnacle of their lives. As a result, people's feelings towards Lu Xu had switched to those along the lines of sympathy and apathy. It would be a different story if he were really dead. But since he was alive, wasn't he simply an ordinary student? 
However, no one said it out aloud, because Lu Xu's younger sister had been enrolled into a cultivation school, though he himself had not. Many were jealous of Lu Xu for being blessed with such a good sister. It was a known fact that Lu Xiaoyu had awakened to Class C strength-type powers at a young age, and there were even rumors claiming that Chan Bailey was interested in taking her under his wings. In comparison, Lu Xu's achievements were eclipsed, as his military credits were confidential. Nowadays, people tended to be forgettable and they were fond of predicting others' future with their own flawed logic. But Lu Xu could not care less. Unperturbed, he even wanted to ask if there were any potential buyers of his magical stones among his schoolmates. Just when Lu Xiaoyu was watching Naruto, Lu Xu's phone rang. He was confused by the unknown number, but answered it anyway. Hello? Are you Lu Xu? There's a parcel for you. Can you tell me the direction to your apartment? The man on the phone asked. It was Lu Xu's first time to receive a parcel. In bewilderment, he went out to collect it. On his way back, Lu Xu unwrapped the parcel to reveal an iron box, which was immediately packed into his seal of lands. Then, he saw a check written in English. Lu Xu was surprised that Coral had really kept her words. Then what was that iron box? Who sent you the parcel, Lu Xu? Lu Xiaoyu looked at Lu Xu suspiciously at the door. Lu Xu showed her the check. I saved Coral's life, the deity's girl. She gave me this as a form of thanks. Lu Xiaoyu squeezed her eyes at the two million on the check. She knew from the currency symbol that it was in euros, not Chinese yuan. Coral was this rich. For some reason, mixed feelings welled up Lu Xiaoyu's heart. Inside her heart, there had always been some repulsion against Coral though she was sincerely grateful for Coral saving Lu Xu in Japan. Although she was hailed as the master of gods of the deities, she was nothing more than just a leader. How could she possibly be a true god? Lu Xiaoyu clenched her teeth. How does one become a heavenly king, Lu Xu? Well, first of all you'll have to be strong enough. Then, you have to make sure your people listen to you, in fact, Lu Xu had no concrete answers to the question either. He had yet to recover from his shock by the offer of the position as a heavenly king. That was something millions had dreamed of. Strength, people. Okay, I got it. Lu Xiaoyu gave him a firm nod. Lu Xu's face darkened at once. I'm guessing you have some misunderstandings. Never mind the details. Everything's under control. Lu Xiaoyu dismissed him with a wave and returned to her room. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know. Glass half full or empty And then we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 